Um, do I look cool sitting like this? It's actually really comfy because I don't like sitting like a lady. Bow! Getting all cozy and bundled and just turn into like a little penguin. Welcome back to Hella Jam. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't yet, go on ahead and click that subscribe button below so you can see more videos, more thrift hauls, more things. Hella Jam. Awkward silence. Am I playing the piano? I don't know. Let's see, let me get my list together because I have to like, I have intense ADD, so I have to like kind of like compartmentalize and list it out for me to kind of not be as much of a hot mess even though I am right now. If you guys follow me on Instagram, it's at the Hella Jam. <sighs> I would like to add like that really cheesy glitter effect, like at the Hella Jam. But I don't know how to do that. It's a little bit more advanced for me. If you guys have been following my Instagram, um, I've been thrifting a lot lately and I've got a lot of goodies. And I should probably do a thrift haul every time I go to the thrift shop because I feel like I'm not able to like showcase all of the greatness that I've found. But um, so I'm just gonna like do like a really quick maybe not even that quick roundup of what I found. Just to give you guys a little heads up, San Francisco has something known as the Indian Summer. Why it's called that, I didn't Google it. I don't really want to Google it. Growing up in the Bay Area, I've always known that when it's fall for everywhere else in the US, it's usually really freaking hot. So you'll see that in the lookbook when I'm pairing, pairing pieces, like it's kind of, it's just fall. It's my interpretation of fall. Cool, is that being too aggressive? It was like me puffing my chest, it was unnecessary. Let's start with sweaters. Steph can definitely tell you guys that I am very, very much so cold-blooded. I'm a cold-blooded killer. I don't know where that came from. When it gets cold in San Francisco, I love, love, love layering up and I'm so excited for this Indian summer to be over. Start like getting all cozy and bundled and just turn into like a little penguin. So let me just show you what I found. Yeah, stop Jamie, just stop talking. Like I was at the register and I saw this like knitted, crocheted, textured beauty and so I ran straight to it, looked at it, looked at the size, no hesitation, just bought it. It's beautiful, it's beautiful, isn't it? Got a leaf on my armpit. Can we just all be on the same page? Fall time means grandma sweater time. What I call Lola chic, because Lola means grandma in Tagalog. So fall is like Lola chic season. It's just what it is. This is pretty much a grandma row, but it's also like a bohemian knitted number. I love the fact that one, it doesn't have like little fur balls on it yet. You know, like how it gets all bunched up sometimes depending on the material. It doesn't have that. So it's like barely even used. And look at these like cute little crocheted details. It has like a cute little swirlies. Whoever made it, like it has a little string for the buttons. It came with a belt that could also be a scarf. Am I right? Oh, 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 oh. I'm so excited for this. Not only is it just like a little sweater, but it's long. So it hits like mid calf, which is a statement sweater. Hopefully I'll just be walking around wearing like a grandma robe out on the street and it'll be like a trendy crocheted grandma robe. So pretty pumped about it. I realize that I'm yelling because I'm so excited off this sweater. <laughs> I'm sorry. I decided to pair this long sweater with my pinstriped box cut dress from Muji that I recently got um, at their San Francisco store. Um, I think that this entire look is a perfect transition from summer to fall. When it does get colder, I can just wear, you know, wide-legged or bell-bottom trousers underneath the dress, and I think that the look will still look really cute. More sweaters. I know that the turtleneck trend was definitely coming hot last season, um, and I know that because my brother, who's like on the down low, like very fucking stylish, cool older brother, he actually is one of the family members that got me into like wearing thrifted clothes as an adult because he started like thrifting back in college and I saw some of these pieces and he just inspired me to just thrift. So thanks, 
at glitter monster <laughs> as a ridiculous detail at glitter monster he wore a turtleneck at dinner last fall and i was like god okay i see you i see you but now finally i can wear a turtleneck because i went turtleneck hunting at savers so disgusting i'm really sorry guys um i should also back up because i got really excited and i was like hey yeah yeah talk real fast right next to you I got this pretty turtleneck, and then I also got like a salt and pepper turtleneck. Sweaters are kind of claustrophobic, right? Especially a turtleneck, like you're gonna feel restricted. So what I like to do is kind of get it a little bit oversized. I like it more, I feel more cozy. It's like I'm wearing a blanket all the time. I'm really excited to pair this with like linen trousers and kind of give it like a monochrome look. Um, especially in the winter, I feel like it's gonna be very refreshing to like have cream on cream. And then for my salt and pepper one, what I like about this collar is it doesn't go all the way, it kind of hits mid, mid neck. So I like that little detail. And what's nice about these sweaters is they're not itchy. Like I'm all about comfortability and if it's itchy and I'm gonna be itching the entire time, I'm gonna be very grumpy jam. That's not good for anyone. Let's just be real. My fashion, I've come to realize is very much inspired by my family. I've been thrifting ever since I was a little kid because of my family taking me out. My brother Brandon is the one who taught me how to like feel confident, like how to wear real clothes rather just than like a little scarf here and there. My mom wears capes. So when it's winter, she just loves, loves, loves like ponchos and capes. And I found this amazing one. It's super, super, super soft. It seems like it was like barely even used and like, Look at that, it's like a cute little patchwork. I love the fuzzies right here. I was like really concerned and confused about these like leather tassel, like pleather tassel things. But when I tried it on, I was inspired. So when I tied it up, I realized, okay, so not only is it gonna fit that like cute little bow situation trend, and it's got tassels, which is like so fall. Super cozy, I'm gonna feel kind of like a bat slash Superman, and I can like wrap myself like that when it gets really windy in San Francisco, and it's gonna feel like, I feel secure, you know? I'm not gonna feel like overwhelmed by the, by the wind in San Francisco when it gets really cold, because I'm such a wimp when it gets cold. I showed it to my mom, and she was like, can I have that? I was like, well, um, let me do this thrift haul and then I can give it to you. But now that it has this leather detail, hey guys, imagine this with, you know, a white button up Oxford dress, shirt dress thing. That's what I'm gonna wear with this and it's gonna be so cute. Yep, sold, love this. Sorry, mom, you can have it after. Maybe, maybe we can go halfsies on it, halfsies. Of course, yet again, I got another cape. But what's so great about this cape, if I can find the head to it, I just love this detail right here. And the best part, what really sold me with this is the fact that it has sleeves. So it's like you're wearing a poncho, but your arms aren't floating underneath the poncho. Instead, it's like, oh no, I've got little sleeves that cinch right at the wrist. You can bring it up three quarters of the way. And it's like wearing a blanket in public. I love it. Cool. Time for a LaCroix break. Probably have lipstick all over myself, but it's okay. I've noticed from Zara and like every other store, business pants are in. I just couldn't fathom spending like 60, 80 dollars on brand new plaid pants when I knew I could find it at a thrift store. So, long and behold, what bam Another reason why I love thrifting is the fact that there's a story every single time you thrift. There's a story with the item that you found. I was waiting in line in the fitting room at Savers. The woman who left left like all of her clothes there. The polite thing to do is to, you know, put it back. Instead, I was like, okay, fine. I guess I'm in a hurry. I guess I'll just try on my clothes. But then I kind of was enticed to rummage through what she found and I found these and I'm so excited. Since I lost weight for my ACL surgery, which is a whole other story, I have yet to find pants that like lift my non-existent booty. And guys, I finally have my ass back. Like these pants, 
I have to try them on for you guys. Like my booties, like ba bam. Right now the trend is to have like high water business pants, right? So you can like either go show your ankles with or without socks. I also really love the flare trend and I love the fact that like not only are these plaid, which is what I was looking for, yes, it was meant to be. Very much so. I love the stitching that shows just like a little bit of pleating to really kind of like flatter my hips. I think it really elongates my legs, which is, you know, being five, four and three quarters, basically five, five, I'm into it. I decided to pair these with my mesh scoop neck from Zara. And then on top of it, I wore this really cute lacy cropped bralette from Aerie found these linen trousers that are high-waisted. I feel like I can wear these like both the spring and summer. Winter, spring, summer, fall. That's when I can wear it. And of course, I love the fact that it's high-waist because they are loose trousers, but the fact that they're high-waist, I can really tuck it in or even wear crop tops to show I do have a figure. I decided to pair these trousers with my cream turtleneck um, for like a very monochrome look. And then I added my vintage brown leather boots from my mom. Y'all know that there's been a huge jean skirt trend that popped up. I figured, you know what? I really wanna bust out the jean skirt in the winter. I feel like I will be able to wear this long jean skirt, it has a slit on the back in fall and winter. And then if I get tired of it because I thrifted it and it was pretty, I mean, let's just get real, it was cheap. I can always cut it and like add studs, add whatever I want to like personalize it, maybe some patches. I decided to pair this jean skirt with my oversized military vest that I, that I actually got at Target from Who What Wears. I also thrifted this gold tank top. Then to finish off this look, I added my leopard beret that I actually got straight off the mannequin on the side of the street in Tokyo. I remember walking by and I was like, I need that. I need it right now. So I took it off and I went up to the cashier and said, yes, please. I think it's a little bit too small for me, but regardless, I love it. I only forgot to add the fact that I scored these bowls that I think are handmade, as well as like, look at how beautiful this is. So I got these plates that I'm really, really pumped about. I have always wanted to have like handmade ceramics. So that's what I got. Thrifted, I'm so excited. We also scored these like stained, if you guys don't know me already, this color, it's like so 70s, so beautiful. It's like an orange, brownish color. I have so much fur on my face. That's not enough. This beautiful chair that I'm sitting in, I got for $20 at a Goodwill in Brentwood. And then I also scored Beautiful, beautiful gold and marble side table that doubles as not only a side table, but also storage. We like to put our blankets in there to kind of hide the mess because we do live in a studio. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed my thrift haul um, for fall lookbook. I still don't know what I'm gonna title it, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, go on ahead and click that subscribe button. If you know what type of looks you guys liked in the comments below, or if you have any other tips and tricks, I'd so appreciate it. Take care, peace.